My name is Gigi and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make vlogs about my experience in the Netherlands, so I invite you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram where I post, okay, right now I post mainly on the weekends because I am so busy during the week, but you can interact with me on Instagram at any time. And thank you for showing some love, I really appreciate it. In this video, we're actually going back in time. I am so sorry guys, I still have footage from the month of November. Because <laughs> I was sick and I still continue to vlog. So I have a lot of footage from December. I went to Paris for the weekend guys and I still haven't Oh! So yes, this video is from back in November at a very, very fun event at Supper Club Amsterdam. I've never been to like a day brunch event and that one, like I didn't know what to expect, but I knew it was going to be fabulous. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Today, we are going to a brunch event at this place called Supper Club Amsterdam. It looks so, so fun. There's like shows and like drinks and champagne and um, we're gonna be four and the reservation is for 1 p.m. Today, there's new restrictions again and everything closes at 5 p.m., which sucks, but uh, this will be like something fun to do on a Sunday. So um, I'm very excited for that. And uh, at the same time, I think it's a good timing that we do that because my friend and I participated to a photo contest for the very first time. And like this morning for us at 3 a.m., it was the live contest. And we are very proud because we're kind of like in the top three. We didn't win, but I think it's a big accomplishment that for the first time, my friend and I submitted a picture for like a photo contest and I'm just so happy and so proud of what we've done. So we're just going to celebrate that and it's going to be super, super fun. So we don't really know what we're going to eat except for lobster because we had to choose between two main meal and nobody eats like steak here so the other choice was like half a lobster which i love so i'm excited for that by the way sorry for the mess i think this is gonna be the outfit of today it's simply like a black kind of like i don't i don't know how to call that and it's open at the back i have to change my underwear clearly this high-waisted pants these are from a store in Montreal called Dynamite Dynamite and I have this you know, like Chanel logo necklace uh, from uh, this very cool boutique called Plushberry Jewels and I have some cute earrings here that are from a project they're very cute it's a heart crystal heart so this is the outfit for the brunch okay we are here Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Okay, we are in, and this is a place where we have to take pictures. Oh my god. <laughs> so finally, we were in to the venue, and we're greeted by beautiful drag queens. Oh my god, when we went into the room, we were like, what is this? Suddenly, it didn't feel like it was 1 p.m. It feels like it was like 8 p.m. We had free oysters, so before getting seated, and Sophie decided to have a few oysters. And once we got our table, we were just like looking around and we were like so cur curious about how the night will be because honestly, we had no idea. So to get in the mood, we had a bottle of champagne. We decided to go big because this night looks so much fun. Look how everything is just amazing. Yeah, we just decided to get a little booze in our system because it was about to get to a whole new level <laughs> i don't know for you guys but i've never seen a very well produced drag queen shows so when it started i was speechless because it was just so entertaining the performers were so good 
so energetic, so into their role. The costumes were fabulous. The music was great. Um, honestly, like I was shy to stand up and start dancing, but it didn't take too long. <laughs> it didn't take too long before I got up and started dancing. The production was amazing. Look at the animation on the wall. I've never seen anything like this. And the place was so, so big. And I also wanted to sit down on that chair, but unfortunately, it was only for performers. So the event was supposed to be brunch, but the menu kind of looked like it was for dinner. So the brunch was a bit of like um, sushi bites and crab tacos-ish. <laughs> and it was delicious. It was super good. So in between courses, there's shows to keep us obviously entertained and oh my god guys, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was, I was so into it and the music was really really good so obviously I'm just crazy about dancing so any chance I get to get up and dance, I'll, I was there. I was there, I was dancing. So we're so amazed by the fact that production wise everything was going so well and it was just i there's no other words it was fun it was entertaining it was a happy great place to be that time and yeah the food keep going so we had the wonton soup and then after that we had half a lobster does that look like half a lobster? It doesn't look like half a lobster, okay? I was really mad about that, but anyways, regardless of that, the food was amazing, and my friend and I just had a good time. I think it was a time where we let loose, even though we, me and Anne Sophie that week, well, the two weeks that she was there, we had so much fun, but this was the most crazy night. I even, well, that happened. <laughs> that happened. That was a little bit embarrassing. Not only did we get champagne, but we also got ourselves a bottle of wine, shots, and cocktails each. I was so drunk, guys. So, so, so drunk. So drunk. <laughs> it was so relieving to be able to dance and look at shows and look at people just having a good time. Honestly, I did not think it would be a crazy night. And the funny part is, it was all during the day. I've never drank that much during the day. And yes, we did have dessert, a brownie, and I think raspberry ice cream. It was delicious. The food was delicious. The food was surprisingly good. I'm just disappointed about the lobster. But even so, even that, we cannot say that we regret anything because we did not expect to have that much fun you know i did not expect i thought i would just stay on my chair and just look at shows all the time but no we were standing up all the time and just enjoying ourselves enjoying the music and enjoying the show the service with the food was a bit long i find but I guess when you're entertained, you kind of don't see the time. So it kind of compensates for the, all the weight for the food. But regardless of that, I think the event was still well executed, well produced. And I, I don't know, it was just a fabulous night. So the event was from 1 p.m. to, it actually ended at 6 p.m. We made friends over there and we did the little after party at our place. So yeah, it was just a very, very fun night. And the next day was Monday and Aunt Sophie had to leave. She had to fly back to Paris and we would meet up again the following weekend in Paris because we were going to celebrate her birthday over there. So next vlog will be us in Paris for the weekend. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!